Well, dear colleagues, professors, sirs, and madams, dear students, policymakers, businessmen, and businesswomen, dear investors, inventors, scientists, and architects, dear friends, welcome to the first Circular Economy Beacons Regional Conference, where we want all of us to enjoy, engage, and excel. It is my pleasure to welcome the highest level speakers from our region and beyond to host 24 hours of live action, talks, discussions, and collaborative workshops. It is my utmost pleasure to thank our team that comes from seven different countries that had managed to organize this amongst many other activities, events, educations, analysis, and implementations in our region and all of this for one single goal. We are here to accelerate a true, fair, clean and resilient circular economy in our region. We need regional solutions for regional needs. This conference is here to say more about where we are, what do we need and where we are headed to. It has to serve you and your betterment. So please enjoy the materials and our guest speakers engage in order to maximize your gains and excel in what you say, what you present, what you do, and maybe most importantly, how you follow up on this event. My name is Milan Veselinov. And I'm a founder and a director of Sirecon, a small company which is 200% dedicated to circular economy development in Serbia and beyond. I have come back after an education period about industrial ecology and circular economy from EU countries because I saw the wave is coming and we need to prepare, all of us, together. Through work with my colleagues from neighboring countries, we have come to the conclusion that we need to unite somehow and not only tell the story, but constantly live the story of collaborative circular economy. And that is how it all started back in 2019. As for myself, I took this great responsibility to design this project and lead the team. I will be your host in many of the se sessions actually, but Moderation would not be possible without the whole team that supports this event. You will meet Adriana, Maria, Lydia, Alexandra, Tiena, Andre, Jana, Carlos, Rebecca, Marina, Voya, Annalisa, Ivana, Sinisha, Vukashin, and many more people responsible for this event and all other activities behind Circular Economy Beacons. So the question is actually, why are we here? If you can see the screen, this is a serious fact. The night of lack of knowledge, what is true systemic circular economy is all around us. We need to inform, educate and guide leaders, businesses and innovators in order to use the opportunity and capture all values that this economy offers. With low information, knowledge and experience, we cannot make good decisions. That is a fact. We cannot measure, we cannot plan. We are running the risk of making non-transparent decisions, the risk of technological lockdowns, underpricing and ad hoc planning. And with all of this, we are paying a higher toll of running late for a train called circular development. Our region is rich with resources, minerals, fuels, metals, precious metals, water, biopotential, and amazing climate. Wet, yet we consume less than 15% from renewable energy sources in our region. We waste our land. We don't even realize that we export for higher value, value products and which are produced elsewhere. And we are almost fully dependent on materials that are needed for our own production. We are also very depending on dinosaur energy imports, 
And we see that transition is also coming. Biodiversity is dramatically decreasing. Our animals are retrieving. Our natural system is disturbed. Our bees are leaving or dying. Our bears, wolves, and deers are being hunted down or passing away. We are also facing a genetic anomalies due to inability to procreate because of loss of habitat and because of pollution. We toxify our lands, we wash away our fertile soil, we destroy colonies of hardest workers in our biosystem. If bees are gone, massive ripple effects are to be seen among plants, among animals, and among people. And why? Are we supposed to drink this water? And are we supposed to breathe this air? How come that we are still in a deep sleep? And while we are in this deep sleep, we are starting to witness one thing for the first time in the history of humankind. We are starting to count almost everything down from resources to capacities. Here, in our regional countries, we are also starting to see a decline in population and negative migrations. And we are here because we don't want to see these words written down. Not when the opportunities are on an inch of our reach, not when the world is switching its turn to start nurturing our system ecosystems again, and not when we have the chance to leapfrog and jump straight to a sustainable business, straight to a sustainable world, and straight to a sustainable society. That is why circular economy beacons exist. We are here because we need to share knowledge information and experience. We are here to honestly collaborate. We are here to put the fourth effort to create a right livelihood. We will build the knowledge. We will build the skills necessary to accelerate this good transition. We will build the business acumen and be proud of it. We will build back better. We see that there are numerous spaces for improvement we see that the transparency of our flows is low. We see that the prices can be corrected. We see that the total value of our output can be improved. We see that we can produce smarter, can offer smarter, and can use smarter. But we also see that if we don't do it by ourselves, if we don't take leadership and pioneering positions, we are going to pay the price. That is why we're here to help the transition towards cleaner, fair, and resilient circular economy. We are here to help our region get unstuck from the second year. We are here to provide opportunities for clean tech, for, to facilitate innovation, to speed up clean production and circular economy. We are here to transfer knowledge, teach you, help you in transition towards a better circular world. It will not be the easiest thing ever, but it will be adventurous. And I might say from my experience, the time to act is now. But we cannot wait for the legislation to be brought and we cannot wait for someone to give us a circular task. We cannot wait for an order or an incentive. We need to build this environment. But the good thing is we're to strive for it together and we have each other for this. One thing is certain. In Circular Economy Beacons, we are giving our best to inform, educate, and implement, and enable innovation for a circular economy. So, in other words, Circular Economy Beacons are carefully supporting you through systemic circular transition times. Because we don't want to see father and mother, father and son, 
mother and daughter being departed again in search for better life somewhere out there. We want to create new opportunities for all of us to keep our brains where they wish to stay. But for this, we need you also. We need to collaborate. We need to network. We need to exchange our knowledge, experience and visions. We need to co-design, co-create, co-learn, co-develop and co-deliver across borders, across industries and across nations. All of this in order to get you to feel the highest heights, to jump freely on the peaks of innovative circularity. And we will try our best to support you. We're talking to you as an inventor, as an investor, as an architect, as a businessman or policymaker. We're talking to you as a person, brother, mother, father, and a friend. We are here to give us a taste of exploration once again, to make your experiments safe to fail, to provide us the opportunity to learn through doing, trying, experimenting and innovating. We are here to open a new explorative systemic chapter, the one that is not bounded by rigid boundaries of a strict old fashioned business successes, the one that is not overburdened with millions of KPIs. We are here to support us becoming circular inventors. But to do this, we need to have a serious look. We need to become even more serious. We will have to make bold moves and attract main actors. We will have to become fair businessmen of a new age. We will also have to get in the mud and will be dragged through the clean and dirt. We will need to push and pull, and we need you to be with us in this. And when I say you, I mean old and young inventors, businessmen, engineers, social scientists, politicians. We need new system makers. All of that because of one single vision. We want to live in a thriving society that reaches its full human potential. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is a vision of circular economy beacons. That is why we exist. One, however, might ask, how in the world are we going to do this? Well, we do have a set of six principles that we are trying to follow and then we will embed in all activities that we do. Firstly, we need to understand the systemic impacts of our activities. That means that we need to know how our services and products pro and produces are creating ripple effects. We need to familiarize the connections, loops, feedbacks and impacts throughout the whole life cycle of our products and services. We need to become aware that we produce and work in complex environment in a system where changes are not planable and where our deeds have effects beyond of what we can see immediately. Also, we need to innovate. We need to be ardent to changes. The change is inevitable and we need to constantly innovate. We need to keep this part very much in the center of our strides. We are aiming to achieve innovative and a higher value circular economy. But all of us need to take responsibility for ripple effects of our decisions. All of us, we need, need to get even smarter, even more agile and build for longer lasting positive change. We need to foster cross-functional and multidisciplinary collaboration. And we cannot do this alone, separated, isolated, afraid of competition and our small market share. We need to build a strong regional collaboration to connect flows, to connect policies and businesses. And finally, to close the loops of materials, water, energy, and to diminish negative externalities to our own ecosystem. 
we need to optimize the value of our resources by creating higher value products to create circular juices instead of selling rosemaries. We need to retrieve resources and start creating things that we excel at. We know that IT is at the center of our development. One of the sets of circular conduct is virtualizing. We need to virtualize things in order to create better value for our system. And that service is producing almost the highest value per kilo kilogram of materials invested. Our region is five to nine times less productive than the EU28 average. And we need to work a lot on this field. Therefore, there is a big opportunity ahead of us to get together and co optimize our, our value chains. At the end, we definitely need to be open and honest about our barriers, about benefits and effects that, that we are creating. Because sooner or later, we will have to pay our debts. One day, all of us will have to look in the mirror and ask ourselves, is this the world I want to leave our kids to live in? So all of you, Circular Economy Beacons are presenting also their mission or our mission. We are here to create a socioeconomic system that produces profitable, safe, fair, clean, and resilient circular market. Again, what are actually circular economy beacons? These are places in each of our countries, and currently we encompass Serbia, Romania, Bulgaria, Greece, Germany, and Spain. And soon enough, already from 2021, one more country definitely from the Balkan region and one more country from the EU28. Because we need to unite and we need to start collaborating effectively. That's why the essence of circular economy beacons is so-called wire sharing. Where V stands for visions and values, I for information, R for resources and E for experience that we want to share between beacons in each of the countries in order to constantly prove our services and our capabilities and our skills to help us going to this circular transition. What do we do? We inspire, we educate, we try and implement, and we enable. And we do all of this for a profitable, safe, fair, clean and resilient circular economy. And how do we do this? We want to create implementation frameworks. As a matter of fact, we already created a, a regional implementation framework that will help us implement circular economy principles in business domain. We transfer experience and knowledge between us and towards our peers and our, towards our colleagues. We consult and advise. We analyze and assess. We train and educate. And in one sentence, we want to lead you through the process of circularizing your system. So what we did in 2020, we've attracted more than 500 stakeholders. Only in this year, which was heavily hampered and was completely focused on online business conduct. It was not easy but we managed to do this as a first step. We have organized trainings, webinars, webinar series, and education. We are implementing circular economy in four companies in Serbia and Romania. We have facilitated for three different regional and national assessments. We have organized a regional circular economy 24 hour event, which I'm happy to host and moderate. We have organized more than 200 hours of co-learning and co-training for Circular Economy Beacon members. That means that we're already having a huge pool of knowledge and experience by which we will be even more sure that we'll be able to act fastly according to our needs. And when I say our, I mean yours and ours. 
We have reached out to four more countries from European Union and the region with the uh, suggestions to collaborate. All of them have has accepted and said, this is what we need. And we have fostered collaboration on circular economy between seven countries from the Balkans and two more countries from EU. In that fact, we're so-called erasing the borders. There is a huge task before us, and this was just a lift off year. Don't get fooled by the, by the opinion that this transition will last for one or two years. It will be very interesting one that will last maybe up until 10 years. And then we'll pursue new goals and new strivings. But until then, we're calling you to join us in organizing trainings, webinars, and education across the fields, across the region. We want to knit in activities of, with cities, governments, and NGO sector. We want to engage with more and more businesses to implement circular economy. We want to organize professional knowledge and experience sharing events. We want to do further analysis because there's so much necessary for decision-making, assessments on national, regional, and business levels. We want to continue the co-learning and co-training because we need to co-develop. We want to facilitate continual improvement of services and activities, and we want to connect policymaker and policies. Because at the end of the day, if we don't harmonize our policies, we are to have major and bigger costs before us. We want to facilitate cross-border business and policymaking collaboration. We want to facilitate regional closed-loop collaboration. We want to enable regional circular innovation for regional needs. And we want to enable investments for regional circular innovation ecosystem. All that with one thought in our minds. We live in a thriving society that reaches its full human potential. So ladies and gentlemen, I friendly call you to enjoy this event and use it as much as possible to engage, write messages, exchange context, exchange ideas, ask many, many questions and pose challenges to our future engagement because that's we are here. We want us to excel in our future deeds, excel in circular economy innovation. And therefore, for the first time, we are organizing this regional conference dedicating solely to circular economy. Thank you very much for being present on this, on this session. And uh, in the future, with all the sessions, I would like to welcome our Romanian colleagues uh, that will have a keynote speakers. One information is necessary for me to tell. All the, all the, um, all the event is being recorded for us to have materials afterwards to get recollected and to get even more informed about what is up to come. But at this moment, I would like to thank you and ask my colleague Adriana Les to come forward and introduce the next session. Thank you very much. Or actually I have an information that we'll have five minutes break before we start with the next session. So enjoy this slide and see you in five minutes. Thank you.